Shinami, your team has been together since 2015. Yeah. That's a long time in the <laughs> curling world. Yeah. Tell us about the journey. Why do you think you've been so successful? Uh, so, yeah, it was a long way from here. Then, yeah, I think that's the team Hasebo was spending like, uh, like, together like if since 2015 same as us so so like we both like very competing with each other for a long time then we had a lot of motivate from actually team Hase Burger because uh, they changed like a curling life and also like a family life or something but uh, they still like keep together like keep going hard mm -hmm. yeah then working hard and then we also like uh yeah like still got to get a lot of motivation from team hasse world so libero mm -hmm. is the like i think the most motivation for us yeah. they've been a big inspiration for you yeah yeah now curling in japan recently has gotten a lot bigger we see a lot oh, yeah. of great events there mm -hmm. karuzawa a couple of weeks ago talk about how curling in your home country of japan has changed since you started playing at such a high level yeah when i was the junior athlete it was a uh, like japan curling uh competing japan curling to canadian curling mm -hmm. the japan curling is uh, behind 30 years from like canadian curling but uh, I thought I can't, I couldn't wait 30 years to be the top in the world. So that's why I saw every Japanese card I think about not just only, only cutting the skill, more like uh, communications, attitude, or like traveling skill, like everything to win the world. So that's why, so that's like effort is very helpful. Japan Curling Innovations or something. Thanks, Junami. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>